it's Angela Kotz with Illumination Marketing. And if you're like me and everybody else in the entire world, we're in a panic. The coronavirus has us all going a little bit crazy. If you don't believe me, walk into the store and try to get toilet paper right now. It's not there, it's not there. Go to the dollar store, people, I bet you they have it. I stocked up a long time ago and that was just because I don't like to go to the store and I generally stock up on things anyways. Of course, I didn't go get, you know, 23 cases of toilet paper because nobody's butt needs that much wiping. But hey, if we're quarantined for six months, you might want to consider sharing with a friend. None of us want to be stuck in a house with somebody that doesn't have toilet paper. All right, folks, so we're moving on to the next topic, coronavirus and your business. From a marketing standpoint, I have people asking me, what can I do? I I need to keep my doors open. I have a brick and mortar store. I have a restaurant. I'm a musician. I perform in person. And they're telling us to stay away from people. Well, that can't always happen. Here's what you have to do. From a marketing standpoint, a lot of times we push for things to be online. We're pushing online so that you can still make a profit in your business, even to tide you over through the recession or whatever is about to happen in our country. You have to have a plan B. If you don't have a plan B, you're usually failing at plan A because things happen. As they say, stuff happens, it's happening. So always have your plan B and your plan B needs to be online. And for those of you who can't close your doors by any means because you provide a service, my suggestion is let people know what's going on. Let people know the extra precautions that you're taking in your brick and mortar store, whether it's extra sanitation, hand sanitizers, I mean, even a video or email going out to your customers, letting them know that they are safe when they walk into your store. Now, a lot of people still may not be comfortable, but this can ease the pain through this period. Let them know what you're doing. I've seen people disinfecting things, like when you go into a gym, they're showing in the gyms how they're cleaning down, disinfecting things, and requiring people who come in to use the equipment to do the same. Now, honestly, you should be doing this anyways when you go to the gym, wipe down your equipment. But once they know it's in the, the employer's hands or it's in the hands of the business owner, they feel a lot more safe and comfortable. So we hope these tips are helping you all get through. If you have any more questions or need any more suggestions, feel free to email me, send me a message, and we'll all get through this together if we work together. It's Angela Kotz with Illumination Marketing, and have a great day.